Hey guys, this is a multi hunter 24 7, and uh, my real name is uh, Nick. And I have, but I haven't done an actual introduction video yet, which I'm planning on doing, kind of introducing myself and uh, probably my family, and kind of tell you what we're all about. But today is what I'm doing is I'm going to make some carp bait. And now I know there's like probably 10,000 different ways to make carp bait and everybody's got their own way and that's and that's great I'm just gonna show you my way that I do it. It's been successful for me so That's 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 the reason I do it that way. Basically all you need is flour And this right here is actually cotton seed meal. You can get this from the feed store like in a five pound bag. It's very inexpensive uh, it's, It adds a little texture you know to the to the dough bait and is what's going to happen is I'm going to mix that with the, the flour, with the cottonseed meal, and a little bit of water, and then the, the vanilla. The vanilla is the big, the main ingredient. Some people use big red, other stuff, and then in place of this, some people use crush up corn flakes. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you want to use. But my uncle is the one that showed me this recipe, and that's the reason I use cottonseed meal. Anyway, so we're going to get started. Uh, basically, you just need, I always start with the flour. I'm just going to make two, two Ziploc baggies full today because I, I told a friend that I work with, he let me borrow his trailer, and he said, man, you make me some of that cart bait, and that's all I need. I was like, okay, I can do that for you. So I'm going to put a little flour in there. And you'll get used to, once you start doing it, you'll get used to much of each of each thing because there's no set amount and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of this it's gonna be just enough to give it a texture and I'll show you guys what that looks like so that's what it looks like you know you this cotton seed mill is just kind of like a kind of like a uh, just kind of ground up like that about the consistency of uh, coffee grinds really Okay, now that we got those two together, we're going to, I keep saying where it's me, but I'm going to put some water in it. And you'll, and you'll quickly find out if you put too much water, you'll just add a little more flour, and so on and so forth. Vanilla, I normally use quite a bit. Vanilla has gotten, gotten outrageous. This is just an imitation vanilla. Got it from uh, Part, you just kind of kind of got to mix it together a little bit and what you're looking for is just a big ball of dough almost like a like a pizza dough or something and I can tell right quick that it's going to need a little bit more water and if it's too too light in color I'll add actually a that's kind of telling me that it's, just, it's more flour than cotton, you know, so I want to add a little more cotton seed meal to the to the mix. And it's what you want. You see how I stick it to my hand right now? When you get it just right, it will not stick to your hand. It'll just ball up, and you don't have to worry about it being all over your hand like this. So I know that it's still too moist. Add a little bit of this. My bag ripped. Once I get this good and, and mixed up, I will I'll show you I got you show you guys what it looks like. I normally do this inside, but there's I've got kiddos in there and they've got the TV going loud and and you know when you got little ones, I've got it. Our daughters are 12, 8, 3, and then we got like a three week old. The oldest one's not here today, but other three are and the three-year-old of course you know you can't keep her quiet I was surprised that I kept her quiet on another video that I had where we was hog hunting she actually did really good it surprised me okay so it's it's getting almost the right consistency but I'm still wanting a little bit more moisture it's kind of like a just a game you kind of just a little bit of this a little bit of that 
Now you see how it's starting to form. Now I'm gonna, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll get most of it off my hand from, from, the, from when I first started. Okay, see it's starting to get the right consistency. And then you can kind of get, get some of the stuff that's off the bottom and knead it in. That way you don't waste anything. There's always a little bit of waste, you can't help it. It's like once you get it right, you don't want to start adding more so because then it starts messing up the consistency of it again. But what you're after, let me add a little bit more vanilla. This stuff smells really good once you get it. that cottonseed mill and if you get it just the right consistency it'll actually stay on your hook, hook your hook pretty good you know sometimes sometimes when you reel it in you'll actually still have it on the, a little bit on the treble hook and that's what you want until a big old carp takes it and and this is you know I've caught channel cat some catfish off of this same same bait uh, my bags anyway, but I've, I've uh, caught channel cat some blue cat off this deal but the main purpose of this bait is carp no I don't eat the carp if somebody else wants them I'll give them to them normally it's just a catch and release thing that uh, I just like the fight that the, that the carp gives because they do they do fight hard and that's a lot of fun I'm, I'll fish for anything if, if the, whatever you're biting that's what I fish for I'm not, I'm not a you know, you got certain people that are just bass fishermen and certain people that are crappie fishermen or catfish. Whatever's biting, I'm down for it. And carp, normally, are always biting. I have had days where they're not. But anyway, this is just about perfect. This is a little bit lighter than I normally get, but see what you do, you pinch it off. And once you, get, once you do that, and you can roll up in a ball, about like that right there, treble hook and uh, I don't even use a weight I just use the weight of that bait just when we cast it out there and just let it bottom let it go to the bottom I kind of tighten my line just a little bit leave just a little bit of slack in it and you can see when they hit it you know they don't really hit sometimes they'll hit hard like a catfish sometimes they'll just nail it most of the time carp are a little bit finicky it's kind of weird in my experience they uh, say if there's a little bit of slack in the line you actually start seeing the line tighten out and then when it gets super tight, you just set the hook and normally they're there. Anyway, that one, that one's about done. And, uh, and that's that. That's how you make, uh, or that's how I make carp dough bait. I have tried different, different things to put in other than vanilla. I've tried jello. I've tried uh, big red tried strawberry you know syrup like you make strawberry milk with Hershey stuff and I've also tried uh, regular maple syrup and it seems like the the vanilla works the best out of all of them really I mean they'll, they'll, they'll bite the other ones but it just seems like vanilla is like the old standby so that's what I normally use anyway so I'm gonna put this in a ziploc baggie and put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it or until I take it to my friend's house, and then he can put it in the refrigerator until he's ready to use it. But basically, you know, you got your nice, nice little dough that'll pull off and ball up, and that is that. So, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I've just kind of got back into this YouTube thing, and I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun with it. You'll see a bunch of different things from me, but we'll get into that on the introduction video. Anyway, like I say, this is Multi Hunter 24 7 or Nick, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a great, great day.